Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss area approximation by the mid ordinate rule. And also we're going to discuss exact area by integration or rather by calculus. Number 19, we are told that uh, complete the table below for the function y equals to 3x squared minus 3x plus 5. All right, we are starting from x at negative 3 all the way to x equals to 5. So when we have x as negative uh, 3, the value of y according to the function becomes 38. So we are starting now to fill the next gap or the, the blank space here at x equals to negative 2.5. When you feed the value of negative 2.5 as x in this function, we're going to get the value of y as 28.75. Then we skip negative 2, which is already calculated, to negative 1.5, and that will give us 14.75. Then at negative 0 0.5, we'll have 6.75. Then at 0 0.5, we shall have 4.75. At 1.5, we shall have 8.75. 8.75 at 2.5 we shall have 18.75 18.75 at 3.5 we shall have 34.75 34.75 and finally at 4.5 we shall have 56.75 56.75 part b use the completed table and mid ordinate rule to estimate the area bounded by the curve, uh, the x axis, and the lines x equals to negative 3 and x equals to 5. Therefore, this curve, remember, let me just sketch the curve. Just a sketch. The curve will be running from negative 3 all the way to positive 5. Then the values are very high at this point, but they start decreasing towards towards a 0 0.5. Therefore, somewhere here, the values start decreasing, but they don't go to zero. Then they start increasing again. So between these two limits, negative three, we have a lot of a lot of uh, strands rather a lot of uh, rectangles into which this can be divided into you can divide this one into eight of them into eight strands therefore once you've divided all of them now because we are using the mid ordinate rule we don't use the values of y at negative three negative two negative one zero those are not the values of y we use because we are using the mid ordinate rule we use if it is negative 3, if, for example, a strip is from negative 3 to negative 2, we use the middle part of it, and that is the value of x, the value of y at x equals to negative 2.5. That is what you call the mid ordinate rule. Now we use the values at the mid here, the values at the mid. So we shall have area being equal to h into the first y you add all the y's up to the nth so we need the intervals from one mid ordinate to the next which is just one unit because you'll be using from negative 2.5 all the way to negative 1.5 so we have uniform intervals uniform intervals of one unit then we add now 38 plus 28.75 plus 14.75 plus 6.75 plus 4.75 plus 8.75 plus 18.75 plus 34.75 and plus 56. 0.75 so we shall have one 
multiplied by 174. And this will give us 174 square units. So this is the estimated area by the mid ordinate rule. We divide all the area into strands, then we use the values at the middle of each strip. Something to be noted is that we estimate the strips to be rectangles, and now that we have a uniform width for all the rectangles, then the next thing we'll do is to assume that if all the rectangles are joined, then they will form a uniform length, which is equal to the summations of the mid ordinates. So that is what we have as the area approximated. Use calculus to calculate the actual area of the part B. Now we can see that from negative three all the way to five, the area is lying on the same side of the x-axis. And that means we're just going to integrate once. We're going to integrate the function all the way from negative three to five. The function is a three x squared minus two x plus five with respect to x. So when we integrate this, we're going to have the power of x increases to three here, and the three divides such that three will cancel, and we have that negative x becomes power 2 and the 2 divides such that again 2 cancels so x squared plus 5 power 5 and x then plus a constant the arbitrary constant then we are integrating from negative 3 to 5 then now because it is a definite integral we must get the specific value therefore we will start with 5 power 3 minus 5 squared plus 5 into 5 plus c minus when we use 3 now negative 3 cubed minus negative 3 squared plus 5 into negative 3 plus a constant so we're going to have now what we're going to have at this point is uh, the value here when you compute with a calculator you get 125 minus negative 51. Remember there is a constant in both sides, therefore it will cancel. This becomes an addition and we shall have 176 square units. 176 square units is the exact area. So that will be the exact area by integration. The next calculate to three significant figures, the percentage error when mid ordinate rule is used to estimate the area. So we can see exact area is 176 and the estimated area is 174. There, there is an error. So for us to get percentage error in the area, you need the error divided by actual area, or rather exact area, times 100. Therefore, when we take 176 and we subtract 174, then we divide by the actual 176, and this one expresses a percentage, then we will get 2 out of 176 by 100, and this will give us exactly 1.136%. Uh, some other times you can be told to also estimate the area using what we call the trapezoidal rule. And the trapezoidal rule is usually given by area will be given by half h into the open brackets the first y plus the last y plus twice all the other values of y up to just before the last y now in this case in the trapezoidal rule we are going now to use the values of y, which are the borders or the borders of the strips. So half times one, this would be multiplied by the first value of y, which will be at negative three. We shall have 38. We shall have 38. Then we add the, the last value, which is at 
70. 85, we have a 70. Then two, okay, we will have a, this will be plus two. All the other values of y added. So we need 21. The other one is a 10, according to the table. Five, six, 13, 26, and a 45. All the others added, all of them. So a half multiplied by one will be still a half, 0 0.5. This will be 108 plus two multiplied by everything there, 252. Therefore, you will get 0 0.5 by 360, and this will give us exactly 180 square units. Therefore, area by the trapezoidal rule would be 180 square units. The exact area, 176 square units. Estimation by the mid rule, 174. In most of the times, you discover that area by trapezoidal rule is slightly ahead or slightly above the exact. Because we have 176 by trapezoidal rule, we have 180 square units. And just by mid we have 174. So mid ordinate rule estimates a value just below the exact. The trapezoidal rule just above, but area by integration is an exact value.